A student dance on the North Shore canceled after complaints about a performance by a drag queen. And this is a decision that has fired up teenagers, parents, and politicians. WBZ's Christina Rex is live in Newburyport to explain. Christina? Yeah, Lisa, that dance was supposed to be hosted on May 13th here at St. John's Lodge in Newburyport. Now, the dance is still scheduled to go on on May 13th, but those complaints from parents and politicians have that dance looking for a new home. It all started with this post, advertising a dance for high schoolers with a drag queen DJ. Drag yourself down to the drag show for, you know, for 9th through 12th grade. Some of the parents were concerned. State Senate candidate Carrie McRae from Cape Cod says concerned parents in Newburyport reached out, prompting her to call organizers on the North Shore. The concern? Certain adult content on this DJ's social media. That once the kids left the event, they could look them up because we had such a great time and then say, oh, wow, I guess they're okay with this. And that's really where the driving concern was, was for the parents. <laughs> This is AJ, or Ms. Diamond Wigfall, the DJ in question. Music, performances, just something to uplift and like make sure kids know that they have a safe, inclusive, loving space to like be themselves for two hours. Wow, what a, what a crazy thing to want for people. Diamond says she's done many an age-appropriate show for teens. Artists are meant to like create art for different ages, communities, like that's what professionals do. Since the controversy started, other venues like this church in Newburyport have already offered to host the dance. In a statement, the mayor said the dance was planned to incorporate age-appropriate representations of LGBTQ culture. And the DJ and drag was something students were excited about, saying it's been mischaracterized by a handful of bad faith actors. But McCray resents that. If there were another drag DJ who maybe had more rated G content, would that have been an issue in this case? I don't think it would have been. Um, I really don't think it would have been. I think that the issue was particularly this individual. Still, Diamond says the show must go on. We're not worried. Like, honestly, I'm, I could sit here and be angry or, like, upset that at uh, somebody for kind of dropping the ball and their responsibility to the community, but that's not what's going to happen. Love is going to win. And to be clear, this dance is not hosted by the school. It's jointly hosted by Newburyport Youth Services with a local North Shore LGBTQ group. Now, the dance is still set to happen on May 13th. It just has not been announced where. Live in Newburyport, Christina Rex, WBZ News.